Okay, now that we've talked about how to do variation listings one at a time, we're going to move on to how to do variations in bulk. Just to let you know, we're not going to be spending a lot of time on how the basics of bulk processing works. If you do need to know that, please do view our bulk training webinar or our training guides. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go in to Excel. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to be using the same t-shirts that we've been using for the rest of the videos, uh, just to show you how this process is very similar um, to what we were doing in the user interface. So we've set the rows up. We're going to be listing two groups of t-shirts, one parent and her three children, and then a second parent and three children for that one as well. So that's how our rows are set up. You always, just as a, um, a heads up, want to list the parent first. This is exactly the same as what we were doing in the user interface. You always create the parent first and then add the children. And since it reads row by row, you always want to make sure the parent is in the top row and then the children are in rows underneath. All right, now we also need to talk about how to set up the columns. During bulk processing, we discussed the fact that when you create drafts, which is exactly what we were doing in the user interface for the single item variation, you would use action equals start. Here we're actually using action equals add. And the reason that we're making the change is that we want to create listings, but we don't want to send them to our channels, which would normally mean you create a draft. But in this case, we want to create active listings or activated listings. And to do that, we need to use action equals add. And when we get to the upload interface, we're gonna choose skip all channels. Uh, it will create draft versions of these files that are active. But when we go into the bulk processing upload interface, we're gonna use skip all channels. This will essentially create active listings without sending them off to any of your channels. Um, and then we'll use a relist action to actually push them out uh, to Amazon and eBay. So the process is a little different than you might have been expecting, but this is how it works. All right, in the next column, of course, you always have to have a unique product identifier. For variation listings, the only unique product identifier is the GUID because the SKUs for the, um, are all the same. So you have to have the GUID in the second column. And as you can see, we are using our GUID naming scheme to be able to differentiate between the products. In the third column, please put the SKU. This helps SureDone understand that you want to associate all of these GUIDs with this SKU. Uh, this is actually what helps to create the variation listing. So let's put those in column two and column three. Then you need the basics for listing. So we have stock, price, title, a long description, a size, a color, a condition, a brand, and a style that takes care of the general section. Here we're adding, we're using the media one header to add all of our media files. And then for Amazon, we need an ASIN, we need an eBay category ID, uh, an eBay site ID. We're going to be using um, the US site for this, so that's right here. And then we're going to add our item specifics. So we need an eBay item specifics material, which is cotton. We need an item specific size men's. We need an item specific size type and an item specific uh, pattern. So that's all that's here. And then of course we're gonna need a sleeve length, which is short sleeve. Now, as you remember from the custom fields when we were doing the single item variation listings, we also need a variation theme for listing variations on Amazon. So here is the custom field that we put in, variation theme. And since we're varying on two variables here, size and color, we've concatenated them into the single word size color to indicate what our variation scheme is. So that is what we need for the file. We're gonna go back in and save this as a comma separated value file as usual. So we can just go ahead and save that. And that's all ready to go. Now we're gonna go back in to SureDone and we're going to go into the bulk upload and we're gonna choose our file. And that was in the downloads file. Okay, let's go to variation listings. All right, now 
As I said before, the most important thing to do during this process is to skip all channels. So that's going to be extremely important. We want to skip all channels. Uh, this is going to create the variation liftings, but not send them to any of your channels. So this is going to create those draft active um, versions of these as we wanted. So we're going to go ahead and click upload. And of course, this is going to take us right to the results tab. And we will be able to, uh, there's our pending items. So we're just going to wait uh, for those to finish processing. Just refresh the screen and see how we're doing. Okay, so it looks like our file is done. So we can download the results file and open it up. All right, so let me just make this a little bigger so everyone can see. All right, what we can see is we've added the following GUIDs. Uh, the flag set the skip sync, so that means we successfully skipped all of our channels, and we have successfully created eight listings, which is good. So when we go back in and look at all products, what you'll find is that we have successfully created two new sets of variation listings, uh, one parent and four children. There they are. Um, and you'll see uh, that these are correctly oriented as a uh, parent, which is publish, and then three attributes. There they are. Uh, so this is all ready to go. And now all we need to do is activate them and send them to our channels. Uh, so there are two different processes for this, depending on whether you're sending them to Amazon or eBay. So I'm just going to highlight how both of them work um, so that you can um, think this through. Now, since we discussed Amazon um, has each individual child product grouped together um, and under a, um, a placeholder parent or a dummy parent, as it's sometimes called, and so you're going to need to relist all of the individual um, GUIDs in order to send all of those individual items to Amazon. So your file would look like this. You wanna put the two parents first and then all of the children after, and all you need is a, an action in the first column, action equals relist in this case, and the GUID. Uh, which uh, would be in the second column, and that would be all ready to go. Now, if you were only doing this uh, for eBay, this would look slightly differently. For eBay, you only need to send the uh, GUID of the two parent products. That is actually all that is required um, to make these go to eBay. So the process is gonna be the same um, regardless of which file you use, I just wanted to highlight the difference between the two. So as you can see, the two parents are in the first two rows, action equals relist. And the only difference between Amazon and eBay in this process is that Amazon is going to need all of the GUIDs, not just the parents, okay? So that is the way this is gonna work. So let's um, go through the process. Here, is, we're gonna go back to bulk uploads. There we are. And we're gonna choose our file. And here we're gonna relist with the Amazon file um, because if we're sending both to Amazon and to eBay, then the Amazon file will work fine. So let's hit open. And there you go. Now we wanna send this to both of our channels so we're not gonna skip anything. And we'll just go ahead and hit upload. And wait for our results. Okay, there's our pending item. Okay, so it looks like our uh, bulk listings have finished processing. So let's go in and see how we did. And as you can see, we have eight action, action equals relist items. Here are GUIDs and we have eight successful results. We did get a notice just to let us know that our Amazon items have just been queued for processing, um, which of course is what always happens as Amazon doesn't list things directly. 
Um, but as uh, we didn't receive any eBay errors, um, then it looks like we are all good. So uh, that is how you relist variations in bulk. <laughs> <laughs>